Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Finally, in Excel, we have now regex feature and Excel has three brand new regex formula. It's in beta channel right now and you can find all the details in this particular link. I'll put the link in the description. So we have three new regex functions. One is regex test, regex extract, regex replace. Okay. So this is for to check if a particular regex match a particular string or not. This one to extract those matches and this one is to replace those matches with something else. Okay. And in this video, we are going to show you a real example of all those three functions. So let's get started and you can learn each of them in this URL. So I'll put those links as well and we will use this regex101.com website to test out our regex or explanation. So if you look into this Excel file, then you'll see that I have some phone numbers, but it's formatted in different ways. Like sometimes we have all of this space. Sometimes we have this one hyphen. Sometimes we have slashes. Sometimes we have plus at the end as well. So you may have messy data like this and you should clean this up. And in this video, we are going to learn how to clean this up. So let me just explain about the setup at first. So I have created a name range for this one, extract regex, replace regex and test for. And I have created another name range for this messy phone numbers. So that is test numbers. Okay. And this test regex is just using this regex test function. You can see, and it says that first parameter is text. So that is what we have in this test number. And the next is pattern. So for this pattern, I'm using a if condition, like if you want to test for extract, then we'll use extract regex. But if you want to use for replace, then we will use replace regex. So we can test it out. Okay. And the last pattern is case sensitivity. So you can see that the last parameter is zero is case sensitive match. That's the default. And I'm using one because I don't need to consider any cases here. So that's how we can set it up like you know now it's testing for extract if i just change this to replace then this will update for replace okay but for now i have the same regex on this one and in this one so to build this regex you should uh, use you know chat gpt or any ai tools so let me just explain what this part is doing and i already copied this regular expression here i put a testing string and then you can see on the right of the screen that explanation look at this so you can see first alternative second alternative right so it's a first alternative that's this character is just specifying that this part is the first alternative and then rest of the part is the second alternative so you can see the first alternative part is up to this plus sign second alternative is up to this end of this part so if you look at this first alternative it says negative look behind okay so it says assert the regex below does not match so let me just okay so it's a assert position at each of line. So when we are saying that, okay, this particular specific identifier, then we are saying that, okay, it will start looking at the start of the line. And then we have the slashes matches the character plus with index 43. That means we are just saying, okay, if it has a plus sign, okay. So slash plus matches the character with index 43. It just says that, okay, if it's matched with the plus sign or not. And then we have second part that is, let me just copy this regex and let me ask Bring to explain this. So explain this regex in human regex. So if we just put that in Bing chat, then it will explain what this one is doing. It just says that break down the regex pattern in plain English. So this is the first part. This part check if there is a plus sign that is not at the beginning of the string, it won't match if the plus sign is the first character. So it says that it shouldn't be at the start of the plus sign. So you can see if you look at this, this number, we have plus sign here, we have plus sign here. So it will not match this one, it will only match this one. And you can see the color coded. So it matches this one, it matches this one, it matches this one, and it matches this one, right? So the first part it just says that okay, this one is saying that at the start of the particular string this one is negating that that okay it should not be at the start of the line and then it just has this plus sign so it says this part check if there is a plus sign that is not at the beginning of the string it won't match if the plus sign is the first character then this is the second part so the pipe symbol means or so this one or this one 
So we have two possibilities. So now the second part, it says that this part match any character that is neither a digit nor a space or nor a plus sign. So it just says, okay, it shouldn't be a digit or it shouldn't be a space or it shouldn't be a plus sign. So you can see that it matches these four groups, okay, for this particular number. If I just get rid of that, then it will it won't match, right? So this part matches any character that is neither a digit nor a space nor a plus sign, okay? So it shouldn't match any of or one of those. So that's how we build up this regex, and then we are using this replace example. So you can see regex replace. The first parameter is text. So that is all of those test number then pattern is whatever we have in the replace regex and then replacement is just in district so we are just removing those particular characters right and then we have occurrence and then we have case sensitive so we are using by default behavior for that one and you can see that we have a nicely formatted regex now you may want to remove those extra spaces you know after those characters right so you can use another regex or use a text split and get this for the text uh, uh, first space and after the first space and then you can just remove them anyway so we get the idea how to use this regex to clean this messy data to a proper formatted number now the regex extract example sure. so if you look at this regex extract then you can see the first one is text the next one is a pattern right and then return mode if you look at the return mode definition so you can see one is all matches so when i'm using all matches so i'll get two output from this one because we have two matches for this one so if you just copy this and then test this from here okay you can see it matches this one and this one right so that's why we'll have two matches for this one then we'll have three matches for this one with the hyphen we'll have one two three three matches for this one as well with the slash and the, for the last one we have four matches so that's why i'm using reduce function so that it can expand automatically that's that's it but the main behavior is that we are using extract function and we are using this particular regex to extract the data so now you may try to change the regex place function or regex extract example okay you can just change the pattern here and then you can extract that. Let's say if I just want to keep the digit. So I'll just replace anything that is not digit. So I can just say, okay. Give me a regex which will any non digit. So you can build this out. Oh, one more thing that you can check there. Uh, let's see. This notes part, it's really useful. Zero to nine, any numeric digit, okay? Any numerical digit character in the range of A to Z. So you can just now do this that, okay, I want to match zero to nine, right? But I don't want to match that. So that's why this one, okay. Now let's see extract example and then we get, uh, this is extract example, right? Yeah, so you get plus sign, Open parent, close parent, you can see we, we get all of those multiple times as well. Now, if you just want to get the zero to nine or keep the numbers, you can just do this. As we are using extract, so it's just extracting all of these into all of these cells, okay? We could just combine this and then keep that or just replace this one with this one. Then you'll see that it's just replacing zero and nine with vivid on string or empty string. So if I just use this, then it will just keep those numbers, right? So using regex, you can validate that, okay, if I want to keep only the numbers. So let's suppose if I just want to keep alphanumeric characters, right? So I can do that as well. So like some history. So if I just want to keep the alphanumeric one, so I could just say regex replace or regex extract. And this is the text. And what I want to extract is 0 to 9 or A to Z, right? And all matches is insensitive. So you can see it expanding. So let me just use text concat function and it will be string. So you can see that in this way we can just remove all of those characters except a certain valid characters, right? Like this. So some one, two, three, five, right? So in this way you can build out your regex 
and you can really build complex regex to validate a specific pattern or a specific number so that's it for this video let me know if you have any suggestion or if you have any request for a specific example cases i'll try to dive deeper in our next videos don't forget to subscribe for more contents have a good day